Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. So we're picking up where we left off with part one, which is uploading as we speak. Dealing with black people and dating slash marrying slash relationships with black women from a black man's perspective. You can't learn nothing from no white man when it comes to this. Because truth be told, some of y'all wives already done got with somebody white and treating them better than you. I mean, she could have just treated you like that and she probably would still be with you. But this is what they do, man. Because they have a... I don't know if it's down in the blood. We still ain't done with the Dylan part. But we... Y'all know how I do. I go all over the place, but I make it back. It's like something in a lot of their blood. It just... They more submissive to white men than they are to black men. And as many problems we have in the United States, we had the highest divorce rate when we try to get with a, a black woman. Uh, and I told y'all already that one of your red flags should be a black woman who it's always talking about white man being cute and white man this, white man that. That should be a red flag anyway. Where do you think you're going to get with her? Her loyalty is to them. And, and, I, and I don't say them in a racist way. Look, I don't got nothing against them in particular. Uh, nothing major. Like, I don't like certain things. Like, I don't like when they try to downplay uh, slavery and downplay the discrimination that takes place very often. But I don't think we need to worry about anything with them like we need to worry about things among ourselves. All the killing is going on. People getting rich, destroying their community with drugs. And look, I ain't no hypocrite, man. I, I ain't gonna say too much, man, but you know, you people change. But It does have to stop. It does. Think of how much money we could all make if we just did what other races do. If we even stuck together 10% more, 20% more, they would probably start back hanging us from TREs. They probably would. But all they gotta do is throw uh, a rapper in our face with fine jewelry and clothes and nice cars and a lot of our youngsters gonna try to be like him and die or go to prison in the process you, when y'all gonna catch on and see that that strategy has worked it's almost like if you have a football team that they run the same plays but can't nobody stop their plays. Why should they change? That's what it remind me of the, the, the other races against us. Like they don't need to change their playbook. So even I found myself, like I had to stop myself because I was watching, I be watching them little shorts and them clips and they addictive man, just watching them snowfall clicks, clips and uh, the Bumpy Johnson clips, I know they've been coming up in y'all feeds too, and y'all probably been watching them. And I was thinking, like, they always try to put the best actors in them little gangster roles so it can stick with us. You know, it's almost like that's our form of the mouse trap. If you a mouse, you gonna get trapped. Cause all they gotta do is put that little piece of cheese on there and you gonna go for that little piece of cheese. All they gotta do is get y'all a little cheese, money, whatever you wanna call it. And y'all gonna do whatever they say and then when they get tired of you, oh, he was doing this, let's lock him up. Let's lock them up. But could they do that? 
if we dealt with each other more respectfully, more unifiedly, more unified, I made up a word like I always do, would they be able to do that? No, it would be a lot harder. Pause. But they can get away with it because we can't get along. You say, well, I, I'd rather work with all blacks. No, you don't. Trust me. Trust me. No, you don't. Black people are some of the most narrow-minded people that you're going to see. A lot of them will hate you if you don't vote like them, dress like them, send them D-I-C-K pics. You want to know how it's hanging, huh? You ain't going to never know how it's hanging. If you ain't you ain't my woman, you ain't gonna know how it's hanging. They don't like that. Like a lot of the slutty ones, they think they supposed to know everything about your body, everything about your pocket. Everything about you. We're the least, most unfriendly. Now here in Milwaukee, a lot of the older people, as long as you don't talk about politics, they're going to be respectful. They're going to be polite. Slightly friendly. You'll get a lot of casual conversations. Just don't talk about politics. Because they've been brainwashed into hating Trump. No matter. You, they can, they can, we can have 10 straight Democrats that don't do nothing but make matters worse. And they'll vote for our 11. But what, I, what I'm going to start doing, black people is very nosy when it comes to your business and very private when it comes to theirs. How many of people like that do you know? So when you deal with them, you got to match their energy, so to speak. Any energy that you don't want to match, you stay away from those. You stay away from them. If they don't tell you none of their business, don't tell them none of yours. If you, if every time y'all talk about something, y'all end up getting an argument, just keep it superficial with them. Anybody that you, y'all rarely ever see uh, eye to eye, that's not really like the person for you. To be your friend, to be your companion, lover, whatever you want to call it. It's really not the person for you. The person for you, you're going to get along with. The person for you, they're going to understand you. And they're going to be able to correct you. Not based on them thinking they over you. But based on them understanding you and understanding things. So... When you black in the United States, you got to learn how to be your own friend, man. And you got to be open to friendship with all races because if you get into that little black power stuff, you ain't going to get nowhere, first of all. Not unless you got everybody the same page as you. I can't wait till I get my hair done Friday. Same page as you. Ain't no just we black. So that look, man. If you a thief, I don't care if you black. If you any of the things I don't like, I don't care if you black. If you any of the things that I like, I don't care if you black. So we got to learn how to deal amongst each other. Number one, no matter how bad it gets, man, if you can, don't ever talk about another black person to non-black people. Never. I could see it in a joking way. If you just joking around, y'all all be joking around. I could see that way. But don't ever criticize a black person to a non-black person. We got it bad enough as it is. We got to uh, learn how. Now, now, on YouTube, you criticize somebody and everybody says, so what? I'm talking about in your private life, in your personal lives. Don't do it. 
don't do it. Because sometimes people will act like black people is the only ones doing stuff. That ain't what we doing here. And that ain't what we saying here. Because most of the negative behaviors that we see, as well as the positive, are learned. They're learned. Like, I remember back in the 18, uh, early 1900s, we had to stick together. And it's like our families were more dignified. They, you know, all they had was morals. They barely was eating, but they had morals, though. While the other race was watching Western and, and, and they was robbing caravan. They, that was on them back then. I don't know when it happened, maybe in the 70s. But now all of that's on us. And that money is on them. See, we have more rich blacks uh, other than like like the athletes and all these people that entertain these white folk. Yeah, they be getting pretty rich. But, but we had in earlier times when it was whites only, all that, man, black people was getting rich. They was coming up. The integration said, hold on, hold on. Uh, they got a lot of money over there. Let's see if we can get that money. Oh, listen, uh, yeah, you can sit next to me. That's fine. Ching, 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 ching. They get all that. So basically, your desire to impress and get next to another human being contributed mightily to us being at the bottom. Now all these other people coming over here. Now I was watching a video last night how how y'all be trying to count all these other people at, like our skin color as us but they don't even respect us. In fact, sometimes they even more disrespectful towards us than white people. They try to distance themselves from us. They try to act like they better than us. Oh, black Americans this, black Americans that. Man, nigga, take your... Go on back over there. Because guess what? You over here, you're going to have to deal with us. You think them white folks like you? A lot of them like us better than you. I know you want to get next to them. You want to get next to them. So, that's another thing. When you deal with people with this skin color or darker. I know I'm ashy right now. Been out here working. Who cares? That's another thing. Nobody talks about us like us. You don't see white people talking about each other that much. You don't see Asians doing it. You don't see Latino doing it. I can see sometimes. But not so much, though. It's like when I go around like a lot of white people, as long as I'm, like, not stinking, I know all crazy stuff. They don't care how I dress. They don't care about my hair. Just as long as I'm not going to start nothing with them, but not don't pose no threat. Black people, they looking all upside your head. And I'm talking about Milwaukee. Maybe you, maybe I need to move where you at. Maybe you, par maybe where you live is paradise on earth. But I'm talking about here. Milwaukee, the Midwest, because all the Midwest is pretty much the same. Climate, crime, the whole Midwest is pretty much the same. But it's like we always find a way to put each other down. And y'all wonder why our family's all messed up. You got people who won't even talk to their own brother. I was talking to my sons earlier, telling them, man, you don't let none of these broads come in between you. And you don't let them move y'all away from each other. Y'all stay in the same city your whole life. 
Same city. These chicks is not that important. They will turn on you. They'll say they won't, but they will. Almost all of them, especially the black women. Especially. They all do it across the board. You don't got to try to correct me. They do. But we're not talking about them on this video. A turn against you. You'll be working all night and she'll be at home flirting around. Probably getting smashed. Probably sending people pictures of her vag open. Holding her vag open with her fingers. While you work. While you trying to be a good guy. You had the women now. You had you gave them all up for them. And what do they, how do they reward you for that? How do they reward you for being the only guy that was faithful to them? By disrespecting you. By cheating on you. By having emotional affairs. I tell you. And look, man. Come on these comments and tell me I'm wrong. Come on here. If I'm right, come on here. Yeah, I'm a black man. Yep, my, my black wife, my black girlfriend did X, Y, Z. Y'all need to start validating these points. Need to come in these comments, man. That, that'll keep them from trying to censor me so much. If I'm right, I'm right. Tell somebody else. Yep, you right. Give me the fire emoji like Twin Pyramid, like uh, Burning Retina and some of the other ones. I was, look, man, the only woman that I never, well, I can't say never. When we boyfriend and girlfriend, I was cheating. But I can say since I've been married, I never cheated. It didn't even matter. It didn't. It didn't even matter. Because what I learned about a lot of black women is they like Pookie. They like Ray Ray. They like Tyrone. That's why don't you dare be one of them guys that only date black women. I apologize. I repent for telling people that in the past. I do. I do. If she's the best one, then she's the one. But if she's not the best one, don't try to stay with her just because she black. May the best woman win you. Or women. So. I learned a lot of my 40 something plus years of life, man. And the reason why I learn, because I sit back and I observe. I look for solutions in everything. If I know solutions, I present them. With us, the only solution amongst us is... All our dealings with each other should start and end with respect. And it's okay to have friends of other races. It is. But while you doing it, while you dating them, while you marrying them, while you being friends with them, don't ever let your mind believe that they're better. Because their situations that if those situations come upon them, they could be worse. You the only black dude, you'll be the one on the ropes. They'll be eating you. They'll cannibalize you. You think they won't? Gotta start and end with respect. We gotta be loyal to each other. 
But you don't don't get God wrong. What I'm saying is, if things were to improve, that's how they would improve. Sorry to be about yours first. You don't owe nobody nothing. I don't owe nobody nothing. But just remember this. And, and any of y'all that see this that try to talk, just remember that no matter what you do, no matter how much money you got, you still going to be a nigga to them. You can't take that away. You can live around them. It's safer for now. Let the economy tank and who knows. You still going to be a ninja to them. No matter what. You can't take that away. So. I'm going to tell you something. I ain't going to never just, just come out against everybody. Only because you never know. The people that might be the safest if some stuff jumped off is the ones that surrounded around other blacks. They just might stick together in some crucial times. But if you live around all white people, get them, get them. Y'all get that in there. They just might, man. So, in YouTube, this video is for learning purposes. In no way is this hatred or racism. This is teaching from the prophet. Every time I do DoorDash in black areas, my rating go down. That shouldn't be. We got to stop stuff like that. Stop trying to bring each other down. And uh, I think we're going to have to maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll do a part three to this. Stay tuned.